What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 143 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Good evening. Good evening, indeed. So, we're getting good at this podcasting stuff. I cannot believe it's the middle of May, and we haven't missed a show yet. Yeah. No. And Amazing. we've done live shit as well. <laughs> live, live shit. shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did live shit good last times. night. Yeah. Yeah, man. It is good times. We're all good. Yeah. For Having fun. Enjoying it. Show. Oh, yeah. Me too, man. And I think everyone else is enjoying it as well. I think people are enjoying the pods and live stuff that we're putting out. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, probably, it's, it's, our, it's our best year yet. Yeah. Absolutely. Easily. 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 <laughs> oh, man. So, um, for those watching <clears throat> on YouTube, I'm a lot clearer this week. I've got a brand new webcam and I, uh, I look all high definition. Crisp. Mm. Very I look crisp. crisp. Yeah. Yes. Whereas before, <laughs> Steve put his potato vision, which I'm not anymore. I'm now <laughs> high res. I've got a next gen update. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you're next gen mm. now, yeah. I am. I'm next gen now. Yeah, Sunny too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sunny X. <laughs> yeah, Sunny X. It's gonna be the a, next a, version. It'll be Sunny One because that's just like Xbox is uh, or Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Way of thinking. <laughs> the be, third console is the number one. It'll be an eliminator <laughs> question in a few years' time. What year <laughs> was the Sunny Two released? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> oh man, we we are getting closer and closer to being in a being in the same room together. So close, yeah. Was it a week? So Sunday? close, a, a week weeks. on yeah. Sunday. A week on Sunday for uh, AEW Double or Nothing. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Finn's going to have yeah, to catch up on AEW awesome. before that. Yep, I'll watch that. Yeah, watch this week for sure. Actually, have to watch an episode of AEW. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'll, I'll have to as well. I'm a couple of weeks behind. It's Chris the only wrestling right? show that I'm really watching at the minute, to be honest. Um, like consistently, like I still, mm. I'm, I'm not watching Raw. Still, I'm still boycotting it <laughs> because it's it's terrible. So, it's quite a um, to do, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for something to change my mind to get me back in. <clears throat> Eve Marie still isn't on TV. So when that yeah. happens, is... I'll watch that episode. And then if it sucks, I'll just watch her bits. Because <laughs> we, bits? Are, we are hashtag <laughs> team Eve and Marie on the Games and Grass podcast. Sure. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. Just to annoy everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Around the internet. The, the marks what about everything. Eve and Marie. <laughs> Evolution. For whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So just like Eva Marie's coming back and bringing the evolution, our podcast has Eva evolved this year. And, oh, uh, podcast style. There you go. That's, yeah, yeah. That, it doesn't <laughs> matter how you word it. <laughs> Eva evolved. Eva evolved. <laughs> Eva evolved. Okay. Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, you know, it's the kind of quality quality you come to expect from the Games and Grass podcast in 2021. <laughs> just making words up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, Ma- making words up for the title of our podcasts. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you look at the ridiculous names of our podcast from the start of this year, oh my god! Like people would be, like, if people are new to this podcast, they'll be mm-hmm. looking at it thinking, "What the hell is this shit that I'm, <laughs> I've been told to listen to? What is Skench? You know, what, <laughs> yeah. slick flare." But, Bumhole investigation, like it, yeah. you know, it's it's real crazy. Like the the names and, and thumbnails that we've had this year, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, weekly reach around, I think it was, it's a weekly one. reach around. That was a good one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Just for balls. I mean, that was last yeah. week, wasn't it? Just for balls. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good times. <laughs> With the world's good greatest God. thumbnail. <laughs> yep. That was a good <laughs> thumbnail. That was a really good thumbnail. How much time did I've you spend long. doing that? Uh, too long. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one to get long. started. It's like, oh, this would be, be a fun idea. It's too long. It's like, oh, so change this, change this. Make sure this looks good. Make sure. <laughs> Still use yeah. that picture of me from ages ago as well. <laughs> yeah. That was from, that was oh, from like an ago. old stream that we did, like a Sunny versus Finn stream. It was, yeah, yeah. It's a good picture. 
Yeah, it's yeah, great. Also, one of the very few pictures I have of you. <laughs> That's right, yeah, we, we <laughs> you have months. loads of pictures of me. Like, it's just yeah, in a, a, a photo album. <laughs> I do, that's true, yeah. I have to fill up my Sunny Poetry album. I'll plug through it. It's like the Madonna nudes book. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, if, what? if anyone's old enough for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't remember that yeah. one. I'll have to look at that. Finn, he's got a couple of pictures of you in uh, some frames uh, on his wall. Which true, we've all true. seen them. Yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Just over there, yeah. I was yeah, gonna, well, I was gonna go proper old school bedroom. and say, and say he's got them on top of the telly. Do you remember that? Like yeah. back in the day. Jeez, on what, the we telly, had a wow. massive TV. <laughs> <laughs> the best one was when your mum would be like, "I'm just gonna put some flowers on top of the telly." Yeah, that's safe, mum. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, good. Bloody water. Yeah, I'm not buying a new telly because I can't put nothing on top. It's like, yeah, <laughs> don't balance it between. Don't like these flat screens. Can't yeah. put a bowl of potpourri on the top. <laughs> 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 Do people still buy potpourri? Who knows? Who knows? It's something like that does. It's, more, it's all it's wax and stuff now, isn't it? Mm. It is, yeah. Potpourri reminds me just like of Dunelm, the shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like smells like sick. Yeah. Like, I always <laughs> thought that Dunelm smelled like sick. Like, oh, come on, let's get Dunelm. We need some pillars or something. And you go in there <laughs> and it just smells like sick. You're like, hey, mum, I am not staying in here. It is. Somebody has chundered under that wooden frame over there <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't stay in it it's bad someone's been yeah. sick in a pillowcase and just put it back yeah <laughs> don't buy that potpourri it smells like shit <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe some of the shops that are still open like and, like you know like you, you know, shops that you used to get dragged into by your mum back in the day mm. I can't believe that some are still open Bon Marsh who goes in there wow. Bon Marsh Jesus like, who that goes sh- in there? Surely they're not still going. There's one in the Neaton. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah, I know, but surely no one goes in there. Because I remember there was one in Hinkley where we're from. Um, but now, yes. yeah, there is one in the Neaton because I walked past it on the way to work. <laughs> Bloody bomb marsh. I know. Yeah. There's others as well, but that's the one that really sticks out. Mm. Yeah. I can't imagine. I miss Woolworths. <laughs> I miss Woolworths. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. love Woolworths. Pick a mix. I saw this thing on Facebook uh, yesterday. It's like you can only bring one back, and the options were quick save, right? Quick save. <laughs> Woolworths and like something else proper shit. Like, why would you bring quick save back? Yeah. You'd want quick save back so you could have your job back as a butcher. Nah. Hey, you leave my <laughs> job as a butcher alone. <laughs> of sirloin. <laughs> sirloin. <laughs> Right, thumbnail's going to be Sonny in the Butcher's Hat this week. Great. Yeah. Yep. It was awesome. <laughs> Fear's a Butcher's Dog. I was like, basically forced into getting that Saturday job by my mum. All ah, right. Because <laughs> she knew the guy, like the butcher, and she's like, oh, you could go get a job with him. I was thinking, oh, come on. <laughs> what do you, I don't want to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, only, there's only one type of meat I want to touch, and it's not that. I'm 13 years old. Yeah. Wow, 13. 13 whole butcher. Yeah. Well, it was only like a Saturday job. I wasn't cutting meat up or anything. Ah, got you. They weren't like, I'll have uh, 15 slices of that ham, please. I wasn't like... I'm <laughs> 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 like, putting it through that ham machine. You know, you get the meat and like, you put it through and it slices it. I don't know yeah. what it's called. That's how much of a good butcher. A meat was. slicer? Yeah, probably that, that yeah. yeah. Well, that's exactly what it's called. It makes sense. Yeah. Good times. Uh, but out of them shops, Woolworths, Quick Save, and some other shit, which surely it's Woolworths. Well, obviously, Woolworths. Of course, yeah, yeah, of course. It's 100%. It had everything. Yeah, you walk in, you got the pick and mix. Yeah. It's, mm. and, you know, that, that's the main reason for existing. Pick and mix. Yeah, phenomenal selection as well. You still have pick and mix, which is well expensive now. Like, yeah, you that's going to like, before. Tesco yeah. have it, I think. Yeah, the Tesco, Tesco near you. Tesco, Wilco's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, the Tesco near you, Steve, they have it, don't they? Uh, yeah, we had it in the co op for that while for COVID. Oh, I'd be well That's expensive in the co op. Everything oh, it's is. So expensive, yeah. It's like five yeah, pounds for a hundred grams. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Stop watching there. Put it on the scales. That'd be twenty quid, please. Oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember um like you you try and strategically do it. So Yeah. Like you don't need yeah, to have like a couple well, of chocolate footballs in there because they're a little bit heavy. Because they're like full mm. solid chocolate. It's not like you buy through them in the hollow. They're solid chocolate. So you, you know yeah. you only have a few of them. <laughs> you wrap them all around the. <laughs> you, it, it was a great time. I love pick and mix. Yeah, so mm. good. 
yeah, yeah. pricey. And you go down the shop a bit, and I think this all this all closed, didn't they? This all closed, but you had yeah, you had CDs, and then obviously yeah. VHS, and then obviously that moved to DVDs and uh, yeah. Blu-rays eventually, just about before it shut down, and then uh, toys. Really, was and... uh, Wool- Woolworths um, around long enough for Blu-rays? Yeah, I'm sure it was. I'm sure. I'm sure. I remember sure. buying a Blu-ray from Woolworths. <clears throat> Only just long, though, surely a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I think it was just around when the PS3 was out. Oh, oh really? Just, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Blu-rays were on yeah, the PS3, you had, weren't they? You had, so, yeah, you, yeah. Had, uh, you had PlayStation games in there and all that. And, yeah. 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 Toy yeah. section was killer. Nice, yeah. yeah. Second, Second to none. none. Second to none. <laughs> yeah, keep your B&M toy bit. That Woolworths was the real quiz. Yeah, Toys R Us was a bit, you know, you had to... You know, you really had to. You know, that was like a day out. Toys R Us. Toys yeah, R Us, you, yeah you'd, have, you'd have to be but, really well yeah. behaved to go Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've been good this oh. week. Well, this 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 last six months, we can go to. Uh, we been can go good Toys this R Us, decade. Right? Let's go Toys R Us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I have this? It's a five. I ain't made of money. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, been, it's been half a decade. Yeah. Eleven yeah. minutes in, and we've talked about nothing. What are you talking Woo-hoo! about? And... What, do people, what do people expect? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is part of the course. Come on, man. You know, I think one, one episode we should just try not <clears throat> to talk about video games or wrestling and just see if anyone even notices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're slowly I have the feeling that our pre shows are becoming a bit, obviously not the video game part, but, you know, I mean, that one, one I can't remember if it was night one or night two of the NXT TakeOver standard deliver. One, wasn't it, I think? It, it was It was five minutes of wrestling talk and 55 minutes of 90s TV and oh, yeah. Jeff, from, Jeff from London's burning. And... Yeah. yeah, it was. I, th- I think that's just, you know, what people come to expect from us now. They, they want yeah. that. That's the content that they want. They don't <laughs> want to hear us talk about video games. No. I mean, they probably, I mean, some, some people might do. Oh, sure. But it's the, yeah. they, they, they're here for the world class banter. Mm. I hate that word. I hate banter. Banter, I like that word. Oh, it's got great banter. Banter. Mm. So, if you say you've got great banter, you don't have great banter. Yeah. Bantosaurus Rex. Oh, oh the <laughs> Archbishop of Banterbury. Banterbury. Oh. <laughs> Piss uh, Finn. Hello. Jesus. Make me jump. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been playing this week? What, well, indeed. I have been playing mostly, most like last week, Returnal. Mm. Yes, uh, beat the story now, but be act two of the story. Thank you very much. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Hit the credits. Um, so it's in Act Three. To get Act Three, you need to collect the six. I think it's Sunstone fragments. It's spawn these by him. Okay. Um, unlike everything else, unlike the, all the other and stuff, they're guaranteed spawn, so it'll be somewhere in the biome. Just gotta find it. Okay. Um, once you got those, you get one more house sequence, and then. You do other stuff, do I spoil, and then you'll get the other final. Other stuff, okay. Yeah, the final bone descending. And after that, all the have to do is find the audio logs and stuff, which I've been doing. Going through every single biome a hundred times. Still got best to find. <laughs> it's very random, so very luck-based. By, by the end of the game, how invincible are you? In terms um, of sort of, uh, you know, well, literally being invincible. Um. Well, it's more about experience playing it because obviously unlocks you get around them um so once you get experience once you know what upgrades you want what guns that are the best to use um yeah what whatever guns your favorite you know whatever, whatever you like using whatever combination of upgrades um yeah it's, it's just about getting that good luck run getting all the all the best ones basically <laughs> pair yourself up as best you can fair learning the boss patterns enemy patterns stuff like that yeah, I feel like when I play it, that's what it is all about. Just you figuring out the patterns, and I think you know once you do that, I think you become not really shook of anything that the yeah. game throws at you. Yeah, like right now I'm just I'm just blasting through it like the first couple of games, like, like nothing. It's like I've seen it all before. I've seen it. What been, you know what the gimmick of this room is? Just go through it, do the thing, kill the things, get the machine gun, ignore the shotgun. <laughs> oh hell yeah, ignore the shotgun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and. Yeah, there's a lot. It's got. Oh, there's one more weapon I hadn't found yet, despite playing through it a bunch of times. Uh, I finally found it, and it's pants. It's like, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic. Looking forward to finding this new gun, and it's just, yeah, it's no good. I was playing yesterday, and um, the, it gave me a burst pistol. 
Oh no. yeah, no. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Just I'd, I'd rather have the normal pistol. Yeah, why we win the pistol? We give it burst shot. What's the point? Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean my go-to's are the Lenore pistol, machine gun, um, the the assault rifle. Someone's ran past the window. <laughs> the assault rifle or the um, like the poison launcher. I think it's called the Rockland Lobber. It's like shoot poison bullets out. It's mm. really good because you can shoot stuff in the hide behind the corner and slowly die. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I saw the one because um, you streamed it last night, and I, I saw the one where um, it shoots out sticky grenades. Yeah, that one sucks. Don't use that one. Yeah, because it just looks like it takes forever to, for them to explode. Yeah, you stick with them, they take ages to explode, and then it does like hardly any damage. It's like, what's the point of this gun? Why, why would I ever yeah, use this I mean, over anything else? The, the game is so fast-paced that I feel that that kind of gun is not built for it. Yeah, it's it's a weird it's a weird gun to have in that game, for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's also some, you know, the alt fires, they get different like super attacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then left trigger. Uh, some of them are really good. Some of them are rubbish. The worst one is the proximity mine, because right. it still does like launch out little tiny little mine on the floor. I mean, it does explode. It does no damage. Great. It's like it's so anticlimactic. Like I'm going to use my ultimate attack. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> just I'll just start this run then. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. The journal's great. I look forward to keep playing it. At this point, I just want to keep playing it. I'm not bothered about you know. Locking yeah, stuff. It's, so good. It. it's so good. Yeah, so good. Uh, other than that, um, I think more Persona 5 briefly. It jumps on that. That's still good. Still blogging away at that. And yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, that's about Fair it. Enough. How about you, Steve? I've been so busy the last week that I've not even turned my Xbox on. Oh. I've just been, I've just been that busy with, um, you know, with family stuff and. Uh, planning various different things and DIY and uh, had a little trip down to London on Saturday um, mm. and then recorded uh, added time on Monday and then watched football last night and then before I know it it's Wednesday again and we're recording the pod and I'm like yeah. ah the only gaming I've done this week is my sort of daily tasks on Animal Crossing and that is it so Fair I enough. need to uh, I, I need to, I need to do a little bit more uh, gaming when I can but uh, this week has been particularly busy. Um, so yeah, I, I want to get back into you know and in, in playing Wreckfest because you know I really really enjoyed you know a yeah. couple of couple of jaunts I had on that. So I'll uh, I'll definitely get back into that this week at some point and uh, hopefully progress a bit further and have a bit more to talk about next week. But yeah, it's just been a it's been a crazy week with everything going on. Hey, life gets in the way. You know, it, it, certainly does. Does. it just does, yeah. especially now, you know, as things are lifting and, you know, time becomes just that a little bit more precious because you're doing stuff that you've not been able to do for the last year and year or so. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, going the football the on Saturday is, is, you know, is one of well, them. Well, yeah, I mean, that was a that was a that was a 13 hour, uh, you know, round trip. Round trip. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so that was a, but uh, that was good fun. So, yeah, it's just been a bit mega busy. But, yeah, I'll, I'll uh Hey, it's the Xbox isn't going to going to go anywhere. It's still there, so nope, that's you know, right. It's there yeah. for there for whenever I need it, and uh, yeah, but that's it really. Unfortunately for me this week. What about you, Sonny? Uh, well, firstly, I got the platinum trophy for Retromania Wrestling. Yay! Nice. nice. Um, and your round of applause. It was really good. Where the hell's it gone? Uh... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it was really good. It was a really fun platinum as well, um, mm. because it basically makes you do everything in the game, and yeah, you get you get to try a bunch of different stuff out. Um, so, so that was a really fun platinum. Great game as well. Definitely go play it if you haven't. Um, probably about a six seven hour platinum at most. Yeah, it's the best kind of platinum. Just nothing too grindy, nothing too ridiculous. Not like beat every enemy on the other multiple difficulty all at once without mm-hmm. taking a hit <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, not, not just, list. just enough. Just yeah. enough to, you know, make you enjoy the game and um, fully appreciate the work that the devs have put into it. Really good stuff. Um, yeah. I've got a bunch of shit platinums. I just went like crazy this week. I went like, I just was like, oh, you know what? I really fancy a couple of easy platinum trophies. So I just went on the PlayStation Store, spent about 10 quid 
and <laughs> bought some real shit. Like stuff that shouldn't be <laughs> actual games, but <laughs> yeah. are. Um, one, one that I did yesterday was the worst video game I've ever played in my entire life. It was called Snake wow. Boat. Snake Boat, okay. It's fucking awful. And I, <laughs> when I say it's awful, it's awful. Like, it's wow. awful. Awful. Uh, basically, wow. you, you're a <laughs> snake in a rowing boat, and you're, you know, you literally just press one button and try and avoid the arrows that are being shot at you. Um, you do it on each difficulty for a total of five minutes each, and the Platinum Trophy is yours. Wow, okay. Yeah, it sucks. Great. Finn, it was 79p. Yeah. <laughs> Bargain. Snake. What's it called? Snake Boat. Snake Boat. He's writing it down. He's going to do the Platinum for it later on today. No. <laughs> <laughs> the concentration is the two of you are just writing it down. <laughs> no, I was just, I was just, I was searching for it on, um, on the Google machine. Just I mean, Finn was definitely it. writing it down. He's going to play that shit later on. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, there was another one the called Chickens on the Road. Right. Okay. That, that was awful. Basically, you're um, in a truck or a car or something i can't even remember that's how memorable it was you best <laughs> have to run over 1100 chickens and the platinum trophy is yours Four it chickens. takes about 10 minutes it takes literally 10 minutes that was 79p as well so think write <laughs> that one down chickens Chicken. on the road Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know that one have you played and, um they played loot hero dx is that one of them uh it's not one of the ones that i bought actually i did buy a couple of i can't even pronounce how do you pronounce that company's name Begins with an R. Oh, Metallica. Re- Metallica. Or something. something like that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have bought a couple of their games. I haven't played <laughs> them yet. Um, and there was another one. It was called Road Blunder or something like that. It was right. like um, a shit <clears throat> version of Frogger, and you just run across the road, avoiding traffic and trains, and the Platinum is yours in about 10 minutes. Also 79p. Uh, made, by the same, like made by the same company that makes chickens on the road. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Three Platinums knocked out in about... Well, less than half an hour. Nice. Yeah, the yeah, Platinum Walkthrough video up. on YouTube for Snake Boat is there's the there's one that's 15 minutes. Yep, so. that's, how, nah. that's basically how long it takes, yeah. Cool. It's not good. And it, honestly, I was playing it, I was like, <laughs> this is genuinely the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> um, so great. aside from that tomfoolery, I've been playing um, been playing Pez. Um, on, I'm on a quest to Platinum that. Um, I'm about halfway through doing so, so it's mainly the sort of the grindy stuff now, like uh, win 100 games, score 100 goals, get 100 assists, that type of thing. Um, There's another football game I'm going to platinum called um, Super Soccer Blast, which sounds like a shit easy platinum, and it is easy, but it's genuinely uh, a good game. Uh, nice. Made by uh, Unfinished Pixel, who are who do make very good uh, budget sports titles. Um, they did Super Soccer Blast, which is very good, and they've done Super Tennis Blast, and there's a Super Sports Blast as well that's uh, not long come out, uh, which has soccer, tennis, and volleyball all in one. It's available on everything. It, really good games. Um, nice. I've been playing Returnal, and I've been I'm basically almost I'm basically at the very end of Sackboy as well. So I'll be good for that. Awesome. And multiplayer trophies soon, Finn. So yeah, sweet. Good water that. Yeah, there we go. So I'm still keeping Resident Evil Village on the back burner while I clear out some of the games that I wanted to uh, to clear out, uh, like Sackboy, for example. Um, so I'm, I've, I've got it, and it's there to play. I'm just sort of waiting and holding off for it. Yeah, me too. I've got that. I can't believe them. those. I can't believe those games like get past um, to to be sold. It's weird, isn't it? It's how really long it weird. Took, think how long it took Resident Evil Village to come out because there's some sort of weird problem that we're having like yeah. that's a gauges which is like an actual fun game but these shitty nothing games which <laughs> shouldn't exist i'm on there like no problem yeah it's really weird and like uh, let's be fair here they know exactly what they're doing they know exactly who they're aiming at and yep. they sell a shitload of copies of these games because platinum trophies in 10 minutes yeah and like shit games like that get platinum trophies but games like sonic mania get nothing I'm still yep. bitter about that. Sonic Mania, no. another game. No Platinum Trophy. 
Yeah, Skate City that just came out, no platinum trophy, and that's yeah. that's graft as well. Yeah, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance re release one BS two. There's like five trophies. They're, they're like beat the game on easy, beat the game on normal, beat the game on hard. So, great. <laughs> Cheers, then. Yeah, I know. Um, it's I, I always find it really strange with the PlayStation trophy system how they do it and how they judge some games to uh be cool to have platinum trophies and some games to to not it doesn't really make any sense to me because yeah. with xbox um every game has a thousand gamer score yeah exactly so there's no it's real so reason weird. why you can't have a platinum trophy for every game yeah yeah bizarre very very bizarre indeed but yeah so that's what i've been playing this week i've been having a I've been having a bit of a blast with uh cool. playing di- playing different stuff awesome yeah um <clears throat> you mean Right, so, um, any gaming news this week? Uh, yes, we do. Sorry, distracted by my phone. Um, yes. Professionals, that's us. Yep, professionals. <laughs> Professional graps and games. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as of today, there is a new Last of Us Part 2 patch for PS5, upping it to 60 frames a second. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be good as well. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, naturally. So it's targets up to 60 FPS, and apparently it does it 99.9% of the game. So Sweet. Awesome. Good stuff. You want to be play that? Go for it. Recommended. Yeah, when I, when I fancy a bit of misery, I'll, um, <laughs> I'll replay that for sure. <laughs> I feel like getting a bit depressed, yeah. <laughs> Real fucking miserable game. <laughs> not one shred of happiness. Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Well, really even, the, even, even the bits that are supposed to make you happy, like you <laughs> put a smile on your face, are sad because of the situation. Yeah, you're just, you're just waiting for it to turn bad because you know yeah. in a minute someone's going to die, someone's going to break in, someone's going to shoot someone. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be really sad. It's just a miserable, depressing game in <laughs> a miserable, depressing setting that just happens to be really beautiful at the same time. It's, yeah. it's a very strange combination of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's depressing but really good. In a good yeah. way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's depressing in a good way. If the yeah, if, the, if there is <laughs> such a thing, yeah. Uh, so that's that. Um, Nintendo have announced a new Skyward Sword amiibo, which looks really good. As uh, Princess that, Zelda, actually, yeah. yeah, Princess Zelda with one of those. I forget what it's called, like bird thing you fly around on. <coughs> bird thing. That's, <coughs> that's exactly what it's called. That's its character name. Bird yeah, thing you fly around on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so I can't wait for those to be sold out immediately and be sold on eBay for like fifty quid. Can yep. be great. Um, Amiibos, man, they, they people love that shit. Yeah, I love the shit. I can't buy any though. It's not buying from Amiibo. <laughs> yeah, you can um, buy Ken from Street Fighter because that's the one that no one wants. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like I was looking for uh, the Joker from PS from uh, Persona Five. It's like I really want that Amiibo. Sixty quid. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, like, no. like, like like fifteen quid new originally. Of course, yeah. Scavenger bought them all straight on eBay. As always. Yep. Yeah. Dickheads. Um, <laughs> 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 Speaking of Nintendo, we have some new Nintendo online games like Super Nintendo NES. They're super yep. exciting. Can't wait to play them. Uh, we've got Caveman Ninja, <laughs> super, super Baseball Simulator 1000, Jesus, Magical Drop 2, Spanky's Quest, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Ninja Jaja Maru-kun, which is a Japanese game, obviously. Great, yeah. Yeah, so it's had a bunch of classic games there for your Nintendo. Can't wait to play those. Yeah, no, uh, I've heard of none of those games. Yeah. It's some awesome games out there for Super Nintendo, which aren't on there. Uh, like Chrono the Trigger, uh, Turtles in Time, uh, Bloody... What's it called? Earthbound? Yeah, oh, Earthbound. Those, but... People are kicking off about Earthbound. <laughs> yeah. Not Earthbound's... being on there. It's Yeah, it's, it's strange. It's one of the best games. Uh, I still haven't played it. I need to play it. One of the best games people say like ever made. But it's kind of disappeared into nothingness because no one, no one, no one really saw how, who has the rights to it. Um, so it's not been re-released anywhere. So just, even yeah, if Nintendo do have the rights to it, they don't care. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> they yeah. don't listen. Like <laughs> honestly, right? If you look on the Nintendo of America um, Twitter bio, it says we are listening. Also, hmm. no, you're not. What are you listening to? <laughs> yeah, give us a sound, sound of then. money hitting your accounts every time you charge seventy quid for a game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll put yeah, Earthman on there for like 100 quid, special edition. And it'll be there for like two months and then it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Nintendo. Uh, speaking of stupidly expensive Nintendo stuff, uh, you can now, now buy a calculator for Nintendo Switch for £8. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I, yeah, I mean, this is something <sighs> that you get free on the thing that you carry around in your pocket all day, every day, your phone. Um, yeah. I don't think anybody's <laughs> sitting there playing their Switch thinking, oh, <clears throat> oh, shit, I need to do some sums real quick. Yeah. Um, oh, I haven't got a calculator. My phone's all the way to the other side of the room. What can I possibly do? <laughs> oh, yeah, great. I can pay eight quid for the calculator on Switch. Nobody's doing it. And if anybody's bought it, you're a dick. I felt like people only buying it for the memes. <laughs> well, you I see, it's like the biggest waste yeah. of money. <laughs> it really is. It's That's why. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So dumb. But you look at it, and it looks exactly the same like design of the <laughs> iPhone calculator. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Let's copy it over. Yeah, literally. Let me show you the <laughs> iPhone calculator. Well, my phone is here. Um, so if I turn it landscape ways, there you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, right. It really does, yeah. That's funny. A calculator. So it looks like a, a, a calculator. There you go. Look. Yeah, a calculator. Um, yeah, Apple. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, hang on. Well, if we can do that, can you do the boobies thing on there? No, you can't. Boobies. Oh. <laughs> Lame. It's disappointing. Worst calculator. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the thing. If you can do boobies on the Nintendo calculator, worth eight quid. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, I feel like Nintendo. And in the last bit of news I have is Sony have announced a new red and black dual center controllers. Yeah, they're one lovely as well. Mm, yeah, they're nice. great. Very tempted. Yeah, I want the red one, definitely. Um, yeah. Been playing with black PlayStation controllers for what feels like forever, so uh, yeah, red one would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I want some like, nice black side plates for my PS5 with a black controller. Looks nice with the lights. Yeah. You yeah, can get uh, black side blades, can't you? Uh, yeah, other virtual ones, yeah, I think. But they're not. It's only a matter of time know. before Sony do it. I yeah. Think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know I'm thinking like special edition ones or something. Mm. But yeah, yeah they look, they, they, the new controllers do look really nice. Yeah, so pretty. The thing is, I already uh, have two PS5 controllers. Oh, do you? <laughs> you need yeah. a third one? I just bought a second one because, you know, sometimes you just run out of charge. So I just charge them both <laughs> simultaneously. Or like one after Fair the other. Enough. So yeah. if I'm not using one, the other's on charge. Fair play. Plus, now that I can have you lose this round again, um, it means we can be able to play games. True. Mm. Happy Great days. Good go. times. Um, I saw today that Sony, Ubisoft, and someone else have partnered up uh, as part of Summer Games Fest. Oh, yeah. I don't miss that um, one. Which is, is the, the Jeff Keel or whatever his Jeff name Keely, is. Jeff Keeley, yeah. Yeah, his thing that he started last year oh. during the pandemic. I missed that announcement. Sounds it good. was, only, was, good it was only early today. Yeah. That's fair. But yeah, it was good last year, I seem to remember. So yeah, look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, oh, also GTA 5 for the PS5 and Xbox oh, yeah. Series X and S has a release date. November the 11th, I think it is. Cool. Can't wait to buy that again. Hey, can we Ooh. have... Oh, no, it's free. <laughs> time. It's, it's free. If you've got it already, then it's free. Oh, okay. Do I have it on PS4? Uh, yes. Good. Yeah, you must have because we used to play it on Daydreamer Gaming all the time. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Could have yeah. So, um, or something. If you already own GTA <laughs> five, um, then the upgrade is free. I'm nice. not sure if it's just free on PlayStation. It's free for free. the first three months anyway. So okay. there you go. Apparently it's uh, ex- expanded and enhanced I don't know. I don't know. It's, GTA, it's been around forever now. Yeah, pretty mm, much GTA five. Really there will never be a GTA six at any point. No. Because people are still buying GTA 5. Yeah. Well, yeah, I saw, a, I saw a stat yesterday. Obviously, it came out in 2013 on PS3. It yeah, sold 20 wow. million units last year. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was one of the Eliminator questions that I had. It was. Oh, yeah. that far down. Oh, we did not get that far? I, I, no, no. I think it might have been a sudden death question. We have talked actually. about it, though, haven't we? I'm sure. Yeah. Like, because yeah, it's just... Are. Yeah, what well, I mean, unbelievable the the money that they've made from that game. Yeah, it's hard to believe that was on PS3. It seems like so long I ago know. now. Yeah, yeah, I had it on the 360. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I I beat it on PS3. I don't not even beat it on PS4. Yeah. I just play GTA Online. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> think on the 360 definitely. Yeah, oh, my PS3 copy right there. Nice, <laughs> nice metal case. Look at that. Nice. Oh wow, nice. Oh, that's cool. That yeah, is very nice. Yeah, really that's cool. really cool. <laughs> what a it game! Sounds... What a game! Great game. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. It amazing. Yeah, it really. I will play it again. That's the thing. Like, that's oh, the yeah, track. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh. Jump online yeah. again, do some streams. Have a good. Everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, 
well, what, why GTA again? It's like, well, <laughs> th- this is why, because we all still play it. Yeah. yeah. Good to be I want to see good. what it looks like on next gen and stuff. Yeah, me too. Oh, God, gotcha. yeah. Yeah. It's going to be 60 FPS in, like, you know, awesome 4K. Hell yeah. Give me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah. Amazing story. Great characters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, what shall we do next? Right. Okay. So I've prepared this week's game heap. Heap. And this is going to have yep. to be a. I think this is going to have to be a two-parter. Okay. Okay. Because there's so many games in this series that you know, I feel like it's hard to just do five. Right. Okay. So um, we're going to go for Sonic the Hedgehog games. Nice. Ah, oh, nice. Um, so as I'm sure now I've said that, I'm sure you can sort of see why we're going to have to do it in two. Yes. So um, if you're new to the game heap, we have Legend, Decent, Bang Average, Lacking, and Crap. And the games that we put on screen and talk about, if you're listening to the audio version of the podcast, you put said game in one of those categories. Okay? Um, Let's start with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Nice. Legend, From the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Um, This is my personal favorite Sonic game. Yeah, it's definitely up there. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's it's really really good. Um, Finn, we'll start with you. Uh, yeah, obviously Legend. Uh, easily one of the best Sonic uh, Sonic games for sure. Uh, took everything that made the first one special, enhanced it, added some new moves, added Tails as an extra character, um, and yeah, it's just it's just amazing. Very very nostalgic for me. One of the games I had growing up. Sonic One was the first game I ever played. So obviously Sonic 2 was there, yeah. And yeah, just amazing. There would be... It helped change video games for the better. There's, Son- there's Mario for Nintendo, there's Sonic for Sega, and they were the two main mascots for the 90s. Batting absolutely. Out. Yeah. And it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I, you know, I still, to this day, believe that they are the two biggest icons in video games. Yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, they, 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 the, the two of them, they took... You know, they, they really started that trend of mascots for games, for, for game companies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then everybody's tried uh, to copy them. <laughs> yeah, and no, nobody yeah. has really successfully replicated that. No, not like, really. There's no, no. I mean, yeah, all right, Crash is popular, but he's not Sonic. He's not Mario. Yeah. No. Um, you know, Microsoft, I don't even think, have one. Did Knack, obviously. That's that PlayStation, isn't it? Nah. No, that's yeah. PlayStation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what did Fucking it have? Fucking Knack. Get out of here with that. <laughs> <Bloody knack. laughs> that first game, right? If it was three hours shorter, would actually be really fun. Oh yeah, but it's, it's too long. It. Yeah. Oh my god, I struggled through it, man. I I, I beat it, but I struggled <laughs> oh, yeah. through it. I didn't beat the second one; it was too much. It looked super generic. And just... That's ridiculously generic. But yeah. the, the 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 story it was actually quite good, hmm. but it's just way too long and like just sort of like puffed out if you know what I mean by that like, yeah, it's just yeah. like it's too it's bloated that's what I meant to bloated, say not yeah. puffed out mm. Jesus <laughs> I've not walked for too long and then I go no I'm puffed out <laughs> yeah oh, I, can't, I can't run anymore I'm puffed out <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, yeah it's bloated it's a bloated mess uh, yeah. but yeah no no one else has replicated you know the likes of Sonic and Mario no Steve how would you rate Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Legend, I can't really add much more to what Finn said, to be honest. It's just that, you know, enhancement on Sonic the One. Uh, Sonic the One. Sonic the, yeah. Sonic <laughs> the, uh, one. the one. It's because I was trying to, I was thinking the same. Yeah, something else. Uh, yeah. Sonic the One, an enhancement on that, and then Tails, adding Tails in there. And yeah. Um, yeah, nostalgia. And it's just, you know, it's the game that surely everyone, that and Mario, that's the game that you played as a kid, you know, when you were really little, you know. Because it was just inoffensive, you know. Yeah. Game. Oh, it was super inoffensive. Yeah. Yeah. You just, just yeah. blue hedgehog. Yeah, just a blue along. hedgehog running, running around. Yeah. Like, like robotic. Yeah, loved yeah. it. So three legends. Yeah. Absolutely. So we go, we go from that to this. Oh, uh, we don't <laughs> speak of this game. <laughs> we do. We're speaking no. of it. <laughs> 
Sonic the Hedgehog, the Hedgehog or Sonic 06 as uh, well, yeah, it came out in 2006. It's supposed to be the reboot of uh, the famous video game franchise. I actually have to, I had to watch a YouTube video on this before we started recording because I didn't really have any like memory of it other than that it was bad. Hmm. Uh, Finn has definitely got it and should 100% stream it because it's I don't, that bad. I actually don't have it. It's, it's so bad, even I don't own it. You don't have it? No. Maybe, maybe I should wow. get it. I should rebuy it. I have played through it. I played through the entire thing. Wow. It wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> it was not a good game. Because no. it was supposed to be the next epic Sonic game. The next Sonic games and all Sonic games. It's going to be a big, huge adventure, epic story. But they just didn't finish it. They ran out of time and released it as a broken mess. The story wasn't didn't make any sense. You had, you know, Sonic falling in love with a human girl. What is that about? <laughs> just, just <laughs> like Sonic being in the human world is just the, it's always been weird to me. Like I know we got Doctor Robotnik, but I don't know. It's bizarre. I'm with you. you know, yeah. One hundred. You seen the film? What's that? Oh, the film. The film's good. Seen the film. Yeah. Film's right, yeah. So. The film's good. The film makes yeah, the sense. The film's really good. Yeah. Yeah, the film made sense because they explained why he was in a human world. Exactly. Like they, yeah. they gave context to it. Um, yeah. I really like the film. They've just finished. They've just finished filming the second one, which uh, oh, is cool. going to be great. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Um, awesome. Video game movies are really stepping up their game at the minute. Like the Sonic oh, yeah. movie was good, and Mortal Kombat was good. Um, so this, you know, I'm hoping that even the last Tomb Raider movie wasn't terrible. No. Yeah. Mm. No, it wasn't, wasn't terrible at all. But yeah. Um, it's one of those yeah, kind of movie just... series that's never like amazingly epic, but it's always, you know, a decent watch. Yeah. Turn it right up and watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um so yeah, Sonic Sonic 06, um, it's 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 not good. It isn't. The yeah. thing is they, they took they took everything that was great about Sonic Adventure and did it badly. <laughs> Pretty much. It is I feel like it is a, it is a good game hidden in there somewhere. If they'd taken the time, you know, if they had time to actually finish it. But it's just, uh, it's just bad. Silver sucks. <laughs> Silver the Hedgehog just sucks. <laughs> um, and still in video games now. Yeah, somehow. Who knows? Yeah. But you think There's it's no Sega... shadow. There's no shadow. Sally's awesome. No <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sega haven't, haven't actually released a Sonic game in ages. I'm hoping they're actually working on something new and good and not, you know, fin- and finished and not broken. <laughs> Hopefully. Good luck. Yeah, please uh-huh. take care. I think after the success redemption. of Sonic Mania, they probably need they they know what they need to do. Yeah, you know what must be done. Steve, did you play Sonic O Six? No, no, it was PS Three. I wouldn't have played it. Well On Three Sixty as well. Oh, was it? No, yeah, no, didn't play it. <laughs> no, that's that's totally fair. Um, you know, there's there's no reason to go back and play it. If you need to see how terrible it is, just go to YouTube. It's really bad. It's probably the reason I didn't buy it. It was probably out of you telling me not to. So, Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Finn, are we throwing it straight into crap? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Tonic. I love you, but no. Yep. Um, okay, so from bad to good. Hey. Sonic Adventure <laughs> from the Dreamcast is um, really set... You know, I mean, it was one of the first Sonic 3D game? So was, was it the first? Um, Sonic the 3D first. from the Mega Drive. Yeah. There's some weird Sega's that and thing as well. It was like... Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Sonic R. That's... Mm. Oh, that's a racing game though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. And Sonic the Fighters, which is also, <laughs> no, for some reason, a game. Yeah, it's an arcade game. It was weird. Yeah. <laughs> you can still play it now. You can play it. You can, I think you can buy it off Xbox. Xbox Live. Yeah, I think you can, yeah. Ooh. It's fucking crap. It's not good. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic the Fighters and Sonic are not good games. No. But this is the Can first... The um, oh, God, the soundtrack as well. What the hell? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Sonic Adventure was the first proper Sonic 3D platformer. Yeah. And obviously originally released on the Dreamcast, later released um, on GameCube, Sonic Adventure DX, That's I believe one. it was called. Um, the original is still the best one in my opinion yeah. uh, really good game Finn what would you say uh, yeah of course I had this growing up with the Dreamcast um, just amazing game good cast of characters except maybe Big the Cat he was a bit weird yeah. fishing mini game wasn't great <laughs> everything else though felt really cool the story was fun um, 
Yeah, it's everything everything about it was just well made and felt new, like a next step for Sonic. It didn't just feel like some weird gimmicky game, like Sonic R or something. It felt like the next yeah. logical step for Sonic. And, it, and it's so much fun. And the soundtrack yeah, as well, it's so good. Soundtrack's really good. And also, so there's good. that iconic moment where he's sort of running down the hill um, with the truck coming behind him. That's two, I think, isn't it? Sonic Is two. that two? I think no, so. I'm sure it's one. Maybe. Let's see, see this cra- game, as we thought. I'll have to double look. Yeah. I'm questioning myself now, but I'm sure it's one. Hold on. Mm. Um, it's it. cool because they recreated the, the scene uh, in the Sonic movie, which is great. <clears throat> That's cool. Mm. Where he's running down the hill in San Francisco. It was really great. Yeah. Uh, no, am... Sonic, Aven- Sonic Adventure 2, too. Is it Escape? Is it? Yeah. Oh, so Sonic Adventure 2. Okay, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> um, great music on that way, as well. That's a great game as well. But yep. um, yeah, for me, Sonic Adventure goes into Legend because um, just just for just for the just for how it was at the time, it, it like Finn said, it truly felt new. It, mm. You know, it took and it looked amazing as well at the time. Oh, but yeah. Dude, the Dreamcast graphics were like blowing my tiny mind at the time <laughs> yeah same here but it's uh yeah it's a, it's a really great game sonic adventure and again you know you can go back and you could play it now because you know again you could buy it on dreamcast i think i actually have it i think i have sonic adventure nice yeah i have it great i game. think i'm on gamecube yeah it's great yeah i've got because so um the one that's on xbox is just sonic adventure it wasn't sonic adventure dx but i still think yeah. the original is the best one yeah, I think that added some it added some problems in the DX version. The frame rate wasn't as yeah. good or something. Yeah, graphically it wasn't yeah, as good. Yeah, there, there was de- there was definitely issues with DX, but um, or, yeah, otherwise superb game. Steve, did you did you play Sonic Adventure? I, I, yeah, I would have. Uh, I didn't own a Dreamcast, but obviously you did, and yeah, I, I spent most of the week around your house, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would have would have definitely played it. I've got, I've got vague memories of it. Um, so yeah, you know, but I I. I couldn't judge it myself because I can't really remember it, but you know, I'd, I'd take your your two words for it that it was a uh, superb. Yeah, um, it really is superb. Um, yeah, um, so that's for me. It definitely goes in legend. Finn, are you in legend as well? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Maybe take big um, out and then put it in legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this next one um, goes without saying. Hey. Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles from the Mega Drive slash Genesis <coughs> for our American friends. Um, this opened up a whole new world of Sonic and breathed new life yeah. into the Sonic games that came before it. And it's, yeah, I mean, God damn, man, what a game. Finn, I know you're a big fan of this. Yes, I think Sonic 3 and Knuckles are definitely my favourite games uh, in the Sonic franchise, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I had Basically, you had the, the cartridge, you could open up the top and put a new, a new game on top of there. Uh, Sonic 2, you could play through all of Sonic 2 with Knuckles. Uh, with Sonic 3, yeah, it was cool. it, yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> and Sonic 3, it basically combined the two games into one one long game. Because it was a yeah. follow-on from Sonic 3, essentially. Yeah. And it, mm. Yeah, so you could play as Knuckles through the whole thing, uh, play as Sonic or Tails through the whole thing. This whole one epic. It, it, it did, did a good job of like, telling a story without you know any text on the screen or anything. Like, yeah. Uh, that was always the beauty of Sonic, I think. Yeah, you know they, like... they, you know the, the older games, obviously, you know, no text, no speech, nothing. You just knew what was happening. Yeah, because yeah, it starts off with uh, Super Sonic running through the thing, and Knuckles comes out of nowhere, punches him in the face, nicks the cow's emeralds. Yeah, teams up with Doctor Robotnik, and then Doctor Robotnik turns heel on him. <laughs> Knuckles turns <laughs> face, <laughs> joins Sonic, and uh, yeah, it is great, so good. Yes, yeah, superb game. Really, really good. Um, I'm, you know, for me, it's always legend. Finn, I'm sure you're the same for this one. Yeah, of course. S- Steve, legend. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I loved this game as a kid, and you know, the, the being able, you know, opening the top up and putting uh, Sonic <laughs> Two in there and and, and go through it, it, it go through Sonic Two's knuckles was just like, yeah. you know, when you're what would we have been nine or ten, something like that. Finn, maybe <laughs> a bit younger, but yeah. um, that was just like. That's the John Lennon. It's the GIF, isn't it? The John Lennon GIF. <laughs> you know, yeah. mind is just mind is just blown. And um, I, I, again, it's just the nostalgia attached to it. And you know, even even like graphically, the difference between like Sonic One, obviously, and then and then that 
there was just it's huge isn't it really yeah because yeah. the design the type, of sonic is period. um yeah. yeah the design of sonic is different in uh, yeah, three absolutely. and and knuckles and, and knuckles yeah so um yeah and i remember as well this the the box for the game was bit was different wasn't the box cardboard as opposed to plastic it was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Cause i think because um, you yeah. wouldn't have because you couldn't fit the uh, the the cart because usually the Mega Drive cases they had like a slot a, for it, didn't they? A slot for the fit, yeah, it wouldn't fit. Yeah. So yeah, it was like a cardboard box, which was which was different as well. Um, but yeah, I love this game like so much that you know I, I bought it when I had a 360. You could buy it for that. And uh, to my surprise, when I got my um, Series S, uh, I loaded the Series S up. You know, re re logged into my uh, Xbox Live, uh, and there it was because I, you know, it was only it's a smallish game in terms of uh, size and it had saved to the must have been the only game I'd saved to the cloud and there it was when I loaded my Series S up first time nice. so that's awesome uh, yeah I had a run through of it again it's still great still love it yeah. so yeah, still, yeah that's, the, that's the thing with these games they will always play well yeah, it like, does. Yeah. There's no sluggishness at all like you like if you even go back and play Sonic 1 like, when did it come out 1990 mm. and yeah, it's probably. just still yep. so amazing now you know obviously they've They've remastered it and whatnot, and when I say remastered it, you know, you, you can play it in HD. So, you know, because I've got a yeah. Mega Drive Classic, played Sonic on there, and it just it still looks, sounds, Sonic 1 has the best soundtrack out of all of them, in my opinion. Sonic 1, wow. Yeah, I, I think Sonic 3. 1 has the, yeah, I, I, I love the soundtrack to Sonic 1, but they, yeah. they, I mean, all of them, they still look, sound, and play amazing. Just yeah, great stuff, absolutely. really good stuff. Hmm. October um, 1994, so I would have been nine. Well, that's, that's when Sonic and Knuckles came out. Couldn't, to, yeah, just looking on, on the initial release date, October, 18th of October 1994. Wow. wow. So yeah, I'd have been, I'd have been nine. I'm six years old, wow. <laughs> so three three legends? Yeah, oh, of easy. course. Yeah. 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 Uh, last one for this week. We'll do another Sonic next week as well, because there are shitloads of Sonic games. <clears throat> some yep. good. Some very bad, um, some just in between. But uh, this one is easily yeah. the best one they brought out in re- recent memory. Uh, Sonic Mania, which of course you can get on like, literally everything. So you can get it on uh, PS4, um, Xbox, Switch, everything. But uh, mm-hmm. it basically, I think it's, it started. Uh, am I right in saying here this started as a fan project? Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, they did the complete opposite of what Nintendo would do. They saw this brand project and thought, wow, this is really good. Let's give them a bunch of money and publish it for them and make it as good as possible. And they did, and it was amazing. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, this is this is Sonic as you remember it, but, like, better for the modern day. Yeah, it's completely updated, and, yeah, it's amazing. So it goes to a bunch of old uh, Sonic stages, as well as some new ones. Uh, all the revamps and remade. They've got a bunch of new characters in there. Um, yeah, it's just so good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Steve, you played Sonic Mania? Uh, I haven't, unfortunately. Oh, you need to, man, definitely. It's it's basically it's old-school Sonic, but new. Yeah, I think it's on Game Pass. It's on BT, at least. Uh, I think it might be on Game Pass, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so. I think it might be, yeah. Definitely have a look at it. It's basically the Sonic you remember from the Mega Drive, but a new one. Right, I'll definitely look at that. And it's yeah. so good. It, to be fair, even if it's not on Game Pass, it's just about a tenner. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just really good. Um, yeah, well, well worth playing. It's yeah, it basically just took everything that you knew about Sonic from before um, and just ramped it up. Great yeah, soundtrack so again. Really good yep. soundtrack. Some of the remixed um, remixes of the older songs uh, are just amazing. They just they've. They've, it's basically a labor of love, and it's a love letter to Sonic of old, and it's just yeah. a, it's a truly superb game. And for me, it's definitely a legend because um, I feel like it'd be it'd be harsh to give it anything other than that. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. It takes everything that's good about the old games and makes them, yeah, just as good. <laughs> Finn, did you, you buy the le- legend, uh, the limited edition of this? Uh, I did. Yeah, because th- didn't you get like um. Did you get a cartridge? Uh, yeah, it's. I can show where it is. I think it's over on my shelf over there. Yeah, it had like a little ring inside. It's cool. That's cool. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. cool. But yeah, great game. Cool. And here's uh, Podcat coming for his uh, hey. his weekly weekly cameo. <laughs> Hi, cat. Hey, Tom. 
Ja. <laughs> Kitty. There you go. So he's, uh, he's here to say his piece. <laughs> Good. He just loves it. He just, he just, it, it, like, it just loves Sonic Mania. Gets, gets, in, gets in camera shot. Here he is. Look. Oh, he's coming in for a... <laughs> Close up. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, pal. Appreciate that. So, yeah. Next week, Finn, you pick the Sonic games next week. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. No problem. Next week's Game Heat. Five Sonic games. And, uh, yeah, we'll do Sonic Round 2 next week. But, you know, there is a, a lot of phenomenal Sonic games. Look, if you can see my stuff moving, it's because <laughs> my cat is um, he's rubbing his head against the, the camera. There he is again. Look. He, just, he just loves it. He can't stay away. It's weird. It's like this weird thing with cats and laptops. Yeah, I'd good to say warm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was the that was the game heap for this week, um, which brings us on to everybody's <laughs> favourite segment on oh, the yeah. podcast. It's uh, Kaylee's just come to uh, take Podcat away. He's <laughs> he's had his cameo. He loves it. Bye, Podcat. He's waving bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's myself versus Steve in the Eliminator. <laughs> I'm currently one nil up after a very good round last week. Yeah, um, intense. But yeah, it's time for that jingle. The heaviest, best jingle in the entire world. Oh yeah. It's time for a brand new round of the Eliminator. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Finn, the guest of steel is here. Yeah, man. So <laughs> Finn is also the reigning champion and is now the, the quiz master. And last week, Finn, I loved your, uh, loved your round. And WWE, oh, you, or the artist of the the old generic BGM one from Creator Wrestler. Um, <laughs> did a copyright claim against our podcast. Yeah, just that. Thankfully, he didn't block it or anything like that. So it's still there. Uh, <laughs> so nothing happened, thankfully. So yeah, well then, I'm making the most generic theme song ever. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. <laughs> you wanna, I just can't believe that... Um, I can't believe it. Look, the cat is trying to is he like, knock my camera off the top of the laptop. <laughs> Listen. There we go. So it's wobbling, and there's his tail in front of the camera. Why don't you just lie down? Huh? Now his tail's in my drink. Cheers. <laughs> he nice. just he just loves loves being a part of the podcast. <laughs> it's his favourite thing. Here he is, like he's there, like in the in the bottom corner. Sorry, Finn. Um, yeah. No so it's this, this week's uh, round of the Eliminator. Oh yeah. All right. So are you both ready? Pen to paper, are they ready? Yep. Yep. All righty then. First question. Okay, so Resident Evil 8 came out a little while ago. So, Resident Evil related question is, which of these games is not a Resident Evil game? Is it A, Resident Evil Outbreak? Is it B, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles? Is it C, Resident Evil Dead Aim? Or is it D, Resident Evil Aftermath? <laughs> trying to write my answer and yes. um podcast is um <coughs> like trying to knock the pen out of my hand he's like lying next to me trying to help um yeah trying <laughs> to help but he's he's actually causing um you know more problems than he is helping me with the quiz <laughs> all right do you have your answer buddy yep all right what have we got Tony. uh i've gone for aftermath aftermath cool steve Complete guess. I went for C. Dead aim. Okay. Well, I can tell you that Sunny is correct. The correct answer is Resident Evil Aftermath. It's a isn't film. Real. Um, it's not that either. I looked. It's something similar to Aftermath. Oh, is it not one of the films? No, I can't remember what it is. What it's called. It's something similar to Aftermath. Aftermath. Well, we've got exti- um, something like that. Afterlife, no, maybe. it's not. It, is it that what it is? Resident Evil Afterlife. That sounds about right, actually. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. It's be one of the be one of the really bad ones. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Which is most of them, to be fair. All right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, to be fair, they're mostly shit. Pretty There's bad. a couple of good ones. <laughs> this but, is, yeah. Um, yeah. Milia Jolovich, or however you pronounce her name, she loves a video game movie. She's in the Monster Hunter movie that's coming out, which actually looks oh, really? really good. Oh, mm. cool. Didn't know that. Looks good. Could be shit. It could be shit. <laughs> it could always be shit. I mean, yeah, we've, we're on a streak, we're on a roll at the minute of decent video game movies. Uh, hopefully Monster Hunter will carry that on. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Cool, right. So, first in question time. Who 
is or was the longest reigning WWE Hardcore Champion, as in who held it for the longest time in without losing it, basically. Uh, to A, Steve Blackman. To B, Raven. To uh, C, The Big Boss Man. Or is it D, Hardcore Holly, who had the longest single reign as Hardcore Champion? Hey, right, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Sunny. Uh, I've gone for the big boss man. Okay. Steve? Steve Blackman. Oh. Like, the correct answer is the big boss man. Well done, Sunny. Mm. It was uh, 97 days. Yeah, I remember he actually had it because I remember him always walking around with it. It wasn't sort of like when um, Crash was doing it and it was the 24 7. It was a bit different then. It was oh, yeah. when. Um, when it was first brought in, when the, sort of the corporation was a thing and the boss man was um, part of the corporation, he had the hardcore championship then. Cool. Very cool. All right. So that's Steve down to three lives. Sonny still at five. Steve Blackman, great entrance theme. <laughs> yeah, great entrance theme. Get copyright. Yeah, that was it. There was like the, yeah, that's it. Yeah, because it was so accurate. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. If we combined all of our sounds together, we'd actually, it actually, we would get a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We make the perfect song. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so Sonic, we've talked about Sonic just now. Let's have a Sonic question, shall we? Mm. So, as I said earlier, Sonic Three and Knuckles is my favorite Sonic game, and one of my favorite games of all time. But which of these unlikely Sonic games outsold Sonic Three and Knuckles? Or Sonic and Knuckles. Is it A. Sonic Forces? B. Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast? Is it C. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing? Or is it D. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Are you both ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Sonny? Um, Mario and Sonic are the Olympic Games. Okay, Steve? Yeah, I've gone for the same. Well, you are both correct. Well done. I feel like everybody had that game. Yeah. Stupidly popular. Very, very popular. So Insane. popular. So, I'm, so popular. I mean, that First is ever. peak Nintendo Wii, that is. I mean, yeah. that <laughs> it really is. My dad bought it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, so many people yeah. had that game. It was an epic moment, the first time Sonic and Mario were in a game together. Yeah. yeah, and it was also a really good game. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it was cool. It was yeah, really, yeah. Good. really cool game. So, so cool. Right, I've got another music question for you. Ooh. Let me just key it up real quick. Okay, whose entrance theme, whose very generic entrance theme is <laughs> this? <laughs> Whose entrance theme are we getting a copyright claim for this week? It's really much. Okay, just that over and over again. <laughs> that 20 second loop. Who does it belong to? Is it A? Uh, where's he gone? Is it A? John Cena? Is it B? Randy Orton? Is it C? Batista? Or is it D? Cody Rhodes? The first ever entrance theme. <laughs> Sounds like the Eliminator, like, intro. It does a bit, doesn't it, yeah. Maybe I should be a new intro. <laughs> Copy, copyright every week. But yeah, every week. <laughs> right, Sonny, what have you got? Um, I haven't got a clue, uh, so I went for John Cena. Okay. Steve? Total guess. <laughs> Total guess, I went for Cody Rhodes. Okay. Well, I can tell you, you're both incorrect. Mm, that's the correct answer. <laughs> the correct answer is Randall, Randy Orton. Randall Keith himself. How many entrance themes does he add? <laughs> yeah, I think three or four. Yeah. Is this sort of blue? <laughs> is this with? Is this blue shorts, yellow uh, trim? That's the one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> classic. Brand new one. Classic. <laughs> so that's Sunny down to four lives. Steve down to two, I believe. Correct. Yeah. Um, yep. Down to two. Cool. Some of these, uh, these generic entrance music. I mean, that's fucking terrible. It's it's not the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, speaking of Manny Orton, 
more about it. Randy Orton only had it. Oh, I've got my music on. Hold on. Gah, forgetting all the things. All right, Randy Orton not only had a very generic entrance theme when he first died, he also had a very generic finisher. Before the RKO, he had the Ozone. Before before the Ozone, what did he have? Was it A, a diamond cross body? B, a DDT? C, a German suplex? Or D, a diving leg drop or middle rope leg drop? A jumping leg drop, what do you want to call it? Say them again, please. Then, sorry. Oh uh, yes, you got to say diamond crossbody, a DDT, a German suplex, or a middle rope leg drop. All super boring moves. <laughs> the one he did, he did it very well, though. Yeah. That's only nice. All right, you ready? Okay, yep. Sunny. What have you got was for a us? diving crossbody. Okay, Steve. Uh, I've put uh, DDT. I'm no. totally wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, wrong. Well, Sunny is correct. He knew the answer already before he even gave the uh, the answers. Congratulations. Thank right, you. So, um, is... Yeah, so if you did a diving crossbody. Then the what? What was that second one called? Uh, the ozone. Which is basically an overdrive, isn't it? Where you put the he puts the leg over the top of the head and then. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he used to balls it up quite a bit, didn't he? It's not a great looking <laughs> move, to be honest. I, I, no, I, I don't know why people actually do it, because it, it very rarely looks good. Yeah, it's a weird one, for sure. It's a really weird move, yeah. Yes. Right, so Steve down to one knife. Boom. Can you bring it all back? Fucking right. killing it no. this week. <laughs> right, I've got another audio clip for you. I'm going to play you a legendary audio clip. Uh, some legendary voice acting. I want to tell you. I want you to tell me which game it's from. <coughs> Here we go. Commander, you've rained on my glorious parade. For this, I'm sending everything I've got at you. But I won't let you have the satisfaction of catching me. I'm escaping one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> voice there by Tim Curry. Uh, so which which game is that from? Is it A. XCOM? Is it B. Command and Conquer with letter three? To C. Half Life? Which D. Mass Effect? Jesus Christ! Space. I, I I do know which one it's from. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Surprise! It's, a, it's it's legendary. If it was on, it's, if it was on a game heap, it would be legend. Yeah, just for that, <laughs> just for that line alone. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sonny, what have you got? Command and Conquer Red Alert Three. Oh, yeah, boss. Steve. I was going to put that, but I put Mass Effect, so uh, I'm, I'm wrong. But yeah, Sonny is correct. It is indeed Command and Conquer Red Alert Three. I was going to put that as well. Sonny wins. Congratulations, Sonny. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Good round. That was a good round. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. It was. um, I like the. I like the audio questions. Yeah, I like it too. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. I like the audio ones. That's good. Um, Yeah, tough round though. I mean, there was some there was some good questions in there. The big boss man one's an interesting one. I think you know some of the listeners will actually get that. Yeah. Um, To be honest, initially I was I was thought it was going to be Crash Holly. Oh yeah. Um, Until until big boss man was thrown in there because I remember boss man having it for ages. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, because mankind was the first because they gave it him, and then I think boss man had it after that. I mean, Bossman might have took it off him, or he took it off Shamrock or someone like that. I can't remember completely, but I was waiting for uh, Mankind to be one of the options. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> didn't come up. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's weird, really. Mankind didn't have it all that long. No. Yeah. Yeah. Out of be- everybody that's had it, I mean, he was the first because Vince gave it to him. Um, but it was, but he, yeah, he didn't have it really all that long. Mm. I mean, obviously that tells when Bossman's the. Uh, <laughs> Hardcoreest hardcore champion of them all. Yeah, fun title though. I enjoyed enjoyed it back in the day. 
Uh, it's way better than the 24-7 shit title that's going on now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even think they're bothering with it now, are they? Yeah. Uh, oh, did, did Akira Tazawa won it this week. Yeah, yeah he did. Oh, yeah. did he? Fucking no. Yeah, yeah the absolutely Shocker. shit. <laughs> Wasn't great. Um, right, so... Before we move on to the wrestling bit, first of all, thank you everybody to who joined us for the uh, Backlash pre-show before the pre-show. We had a good fun, and yeah, it was good fun to chat with you all in the in the comments and you know to talk about Dolph Ziggler looking like Wurzel Gummidge. That is, um, <laughs> courtesy of Squinny. Um, to be honest, WrestleMania Backlash pretty much went exactly how we expected it. I think all of our predictions were right, literally pretty all much. of them. Um, yeah, it was it was just an okay pay per view with the right. addition of zombies. That's right. Uh, <laughs> zombies. Yeah, I always have um, <laughs> Let's just leave that image on the screen a second. Um and just let you digest like I'm sure you have been all, you know, since WrestleMania Backlash because this was, you know, the big talking point coming out of it. This and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> zombies were the Lumberjacks uh, for this match between yeah, I mean, Miz and Damian Priest. I, mean, I get it. It's, you know, it's a cross-promotion thing. Um, I think I hate it as much as other people. It's just a sort it was, you know, stupid, but that's my, whatever. It's WWE being <coughs> WWE. Um, yeah, it's, it's just... <laughs> the thing is, WWE don't help themselves, do they? No. You know? <laughs> uh, they just open themselves up to have the piss taken out of them all the time and this is just another prime example of that um yeah. look wrestling's ridiculous and yep it's cross promotion with uh zach snyder's army of the dead that's coming out on netflix soon um but yeah i mean <laughs> I, you know i can't it's it, you know it's no sillier than when dolph ziggler was the kfc guy <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> i guess not yeah but uh there's a couple of funny moments in there, like Mozart and Martin getting dragged beneath the uh, barricade. It's like, no. I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily amused. Um, but yeah, not only was it a weird, stupid match, um, Miz got injured quite badly in it as well, yeah. towards ACL. Yeah, because he got eaten by zombies. Yeah, <laughs> they ate his ACL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, I mean, the Miz never gets injured, and he's, you know, very yeah. proud of that fact. He says it a lot. Uh, but now, yeah, unfortunately, he is um, he is on the shelf. It looks like it's going to be for a, a, a several months as well. Yeah, I thought Matt yeah, changing him. <laughs> is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's a real shit one for the Miz. Obviously, we wish him a speedy recovery. Mm. Um, but other, otherwise, WrestleMania Backlash was just okay, I guess. Um, right. Sheamus versus Ricochet on the pre-show was great, though. Yeah, really good. And it looks like we're starting to get more Ricochet. They're giving him a bit of a personality, which is great. Um, you know, after the match, Sheamus, which, you know, who won, you know, was talking in the ring and all this sort of stuff. The Ricochet stole his jacket and coat, ran <laughs> off with it, and now he's Rick O'Shea. Hey. <laughs> I'm joking. He's not Rick O'Shea. But he's, uh, yeah, they're giving him a bit of a personality, and it looks like he's going to be, you know, uh, feuding with Sheamus for a little bit going forward. And I'm all for it. They had a really good match. Really, really good match. Yeah, I'd be with that. Yeah. I thought when Ricochet came out in that weird gear, like he came out in like jeans. Oh, yeah. And like taped up hands. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, it's just, I don't understand. Um, mm. Like he just left his ring gear at home and they've just said, look, you're going to be on the show after all. It's like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go, goes, out, goes out there in jeans and work shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and tape took up hands I haven't got any tape I need to take my hands up to make it look like I'm actually bothered to turn up yeah hey bud come back for more more podcast nope yep he is he loves it he absolutely <laughs> loves the podcast he just cannot be away oh, the other one like, doesn't bother but it's just him <laughs> for those like watching like uh, and listening this is Duke he's our uh, he's our boy <laughs> ginger boy cat there he is oh. boy Single- being a boy, being all lovely and just uh, enjoying being on the podcast. But yeah, WrestleMania Backlash was, um, it was just okay. Yeah, maybe that was good. Our red is the red remains. As you know, everyone guessed it would be. Um, yeah. Then after the match, um, Seth Rollins came out in the, probably his ugliest suit yet. Um, oh, that's a beautiful suit. 
Wait, let's um, oh, let's, wait, get wait, wait, let's rewind it, rewind it. Give it let's, <laughs> right. What is Seth Rollins wearing? Go. All right, for Seth. So I'll, I'll do it. Steve's thing. I don't mind doing it. Yeah, you do, Steve. I'll do it. I'll do it. So Seth Rollins is wearing a white suit. I'm guessing the whole suit was white. I can only see the top half there. But he quite clearly had seen Leicester City's success the day before in the FA Cup final as he's donning uh, Leicester City blue and gold, which is now our uh, official club colours. So, obviously, Seth Rollins, like myself, a huge Leicester City fan. So, I've got a lot of time for this suit. Uh, I think it looks <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Uh, I kid, of course, it's absolutely dreadful. Look at it. <laughs> um, but... Obviously, the main part of that attire is the black wanking glove. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there, and it's a it's a staple now of the Seth Rollins drip. There we go. Yeah. Done. Phenomenal. <laughs> you, you you missed off camera there, but um, <laughs> like Duke just spilt my drink. <laughs> oh no! He just walked past and just knocked my water bottle over. Yeah. What a man! What Cast, a guy! What a, what a guy! That. Cass don't care, do they? Like, Cass don't care. He's a good lad. He's, he's, having a, he's having a good time. He loves it. <laughs> yeah. So um, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns looks like they're going to be feuding going forward. But great effort from Cesaro. Um, yeah. we definitely want to see, definitely you know need to see more of him in the title picture going forward. But um, yeah, um, we all knew Roman Reigns was going to win. When he loses it is anyone's guess, and who too is anyone's guess. Uh, yeah. Um, on the bump today, actually. Um, like Adam Cole was like being interviewed on the bump, and Seth Rollins, um, like I think, like did interrupted Adam Cole. Oh, Ooh. interesting. I would like to see that. Um, piece. Yeah, me too. Oh. For the universal title, please. So Seth Rollins yeah. beat Roman Reigns. Adam Cole beat Seth Rollins. We're all happy. Yeah, go for it. Let's do That'd it. That'd be cool. That, that would be really cool. cool. Um, there's a lot of talk at the minute of uh, them sort of shuffling. Uh, apparently, they need fresh faces on Raw. Who knew? Yeah, <laughs> good to think. Yeah, Were any of them wrestlers? I don't. I've not really looked into it all that much. Appa- oh, apparently so. Yeah. Apparently, I, I'd read that there was, um, yeah, some uh, developmental. Uh, there was a few names, but I didn't recognise them. Well, I think, Ricochet I think turned up to be a zombie. That's why he only had uh, <laughs> black jeans and work shoes. Yeah. Uh, 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 there was a thing doing the rounds on Twitter that some people thought that one of them was a uh, Scotty Too Hotty, but uh, oh, yeah. that's been. I think that's been. Uh, Disproved. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Fair. Um, yeah, so they're looking to freshen up Raw. There's talk of Alistair Black going over to Raw, although his vignettes are playing on SmackDown, which is, mm. you know, obviously they, that's a decision they'll need to make. But um, yeah, they're looking to freshen things up, which, you know, they absolutely need to. Um, I think a few people would benefit from, you know, switching brands. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. just needs something that isn't Lashley versus whoever for the main event. Lashley, I'm not got an issue with, but it's the you know he can't yeah, like Lashley wrestle lot, Drew just... McIntyre forever. That <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, that would just be incredibly shit. Yeah, Drew and Braun. Yeah, or Drew and Braun. Well, I think Braun's injured now. Oh, is he? Oh god. Yeah, from what I read, I thought yeah, Braun's injured. Isn't there talk of Drew and? Jinder having a, a feud going forward as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Nice. Bring Heath Slater back in as well. Get a triple yeah. threat. Yeah, why not? Bring my band back together. Yeah. 3MB, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think Heath's injured currently. That's why he's not been on impact oh, for a bit. Wow. Well, a lot of injuries yeah. going around. A lot of injuries going around. But yeah, you Just, know, uh, Drew versus Jinder would be cool. Yeah. Quick, quick update. Um, mm. One of the zombies. Was Scotty too high? Oh, cool. Oh, okay, cool. Apparently so. <laughs> yeah, just double checked. Uh, one of the zombies at WWE WrestleMania Backlash was none other than Scotty too hotty. <laughs> yeah, and then he put it, and then he put it on his Instagram. Awesome. Mm, Beverly. Mm. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, did you see Bray Wyatt's tweet? I did. Uh, Miss me yet? Hashtag zombies. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, here's the thing, right? <laughs> Yeah, the zombies thing is ridiculous. Uh, when I read it, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, come on. It's hard enough to justify watching this, and now this happens. Yeah. You know? It, it, was, <laughs> it was really strange. I, um, so my, I, I've, not, I've seen 
Uh, I've seen the women's triple threat and I've seen the SmackDown tag team match, but my WWE network just will not work. It just keeps crashing. Weird. Um, so Sunday night, I was watching uh, a, a watch along on a, another YouTube channel and I was like drifting in and out of sleep and I, and I just kind of woke up as it was finishing and the person went, uh, yeah, not a bad pay-per-view. The zombie thing was a bit weird and this is at yeah. like, you know, three in the morning. I'm like, zombies? What? No, I forget <laughs> it. And just went back to sleep. <laughs> Um, I was like, what? And then, yeah, it was one of the first things I looked at when I woke up the next morning. I was like, just, you know, backlash zombies. I was like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it, it happened. It happened. That's a real thing. It. Yeah. Yeah, it was a real yeah. thing. So, <laughs> but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, funny. it happened. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Dolph Ziggler and yeah. Robert Roode, they lost the tag team titles. There's Dolph Ziggler. Looking, <laughs> uh, although looking pretty happy there, to be fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Talking Charlotte Flair didn't win. Uh, there she's running away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, it'll never, get old. it'll never get old. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I mean, obviously, she dressed like Cruella de Vil because there's a Cruella de Vil film coming out. Film week. coming out, yeah. 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 I like this version of Charlotte a lot more than she has been recently. Now she's like a proper full-blown heel. Before, it's just kind of like weird in between. Yeah. And as you've gone full aggressive heel, and stuff. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't, I never hate Charlotte Flair. I just, no. you know, you get bored of it because it's the exactly. same thing all the time. But, it, you know, if she's going to change it up and be, you know, a bit more of a piece of shit character, then I'm all good. Yeah. She's a, definitely a much better heel. I can't be doing it with a smiling. I've said this on no. the podcast like loads, loads of times about certain people, but some people just don't suit being a face. Yeah. Absolutely. CM Punk was always one of those guys. Not a likable person, just a dickhead. Sasha Banks, <laughs> not a likable character, just a dickhead. Charlotte <laughs> Flair, I'm sure she's lovely in real life, but she just doesn't suit being a face. Yeah. No. No. You're what, right. what does Siri have to say for himself there? What, what about? Uh, not a lot. I turned it off. Yeah. Fair enough. Go away. Yeah. Go well. away. Um, not really much happened on Raw. Does it ever? Yeah, main event. Kofi Kingston, the ball people, answered Bobby Lashley's challenge. Last yeah, minute MVP. People expecting Keith Lee. Unlucky. Unlucky. Um, but yeah, last minute MVP said, yeah, no, not a tie match. Sorry. And then, for some reason, Kofi Kingston went and bloody won, didn't he? What's that about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't get it. Weird. So Kofi's now feuding with Bobby Lashley <coughs> and RK Bro as part of the new day. And he beat Randy Orton that same night. It's Randy Orton and Bobby Lashley in one night. Good night for Kofi. Yeah, great. Kofi great. Mania. Yeah. Kofi Mania yeah. too. On its Very way. strange. Very strange booking. Incredibly strange booking. But we expect nothing less from Raw. That's why well, I yeah, boycotted of it. <laughs> it's going to be Raw. Of course. We expect nothing less. Um, something cool happened on Tuesday night on NXT. Uh, Bronson Reed won the yeah. NXT North American Championship from uh, Johnny Gargano in a cage match in the main event. Nice. Very good. Congratulations cool. to Bronson Reed. He is awesome. Yep. Congrats. You and see that, I'm that, a that huge, call? huge mark for his entrance. Yeah, me too. Look at yeah, that cool poster good. they were using to advertise Gargano versus Breed. Like a comic book yes. strip. That's so cool. Yeah, really, 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 really well cool. Uh, I love that they make, you know, I love that the, the posters that they make for NXT. I think like they, they make, like, like AEW does, you know, they make weekly TV and their matches feel like a big deal. Whereas you mm. get the same bollocks, Raw and SmackDown <laughs> graphic every week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, coming to NXT, especially next week. Um, got the debut, uh, well, the world premiere of Frankie Monet, aka Very Ty cool. Valkyrie. Um, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, and Cameron Grimes, <laughs> who is the best character on NXT, hands down at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're going to be face to face. Hilarious. To the moon. And um, pretty huge match here. <laughs> Finn Balor uh, versus Karrion Cross for the NXT Championship next week yeah. as well. Awesome. That's going to be absolutely banging. So, mm. oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of positive stuff coming out of NXT. It's um, you know it's just getting, it's starting to get back into the swing of things again after WrestleMania season. Yeah, yeah. Um, AEW has been good. It was good again last week. I thought Moxley versus Yuji Nagata for the IWGP. North American Championship or United States Heavyweight Championship, whatever it's called, was really good. Cool. Um, yeah, I just... Yeah, yeah, the only thing I could really do without, 
on AEW is Cody Rhodes being the most egotistical, like, of all, person of all time. Yeah, oh, Cody Rhodes uh, is someone who always got... It's always something about him that always bugged me. It's like, uh, this comes across as like a bit of a, bit of a, as you said, egotistical twat. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> something about him. It's weird. I, I don't know. I mean, I want to like, I, th- I think he's a great wrestler. Yeah, great wrestler. But there's just something that unlikable about him that you, mm. you don't want to root for him. Like, I want Anthony Agogo to beat him at double or nothing. Yeah, it's just something off about his personality. I've got a bit of a finger on it. It's just something I don't like. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he had that dig at Triple H because he wants to be the big almighty and he obviously smashed the throne with the sledgehammer. And then he has yeah. the big overblown entrance with the fireworks and the ridiculousness yeah. and he comes out the middle where no one else does. And it's just... I think, a bit yeah, much. I, think, I, think, mm. I think that's the uh, that, that's that's the, the funny part about it, isn't it? Really, or the the, yeah. the critical part is that, <laughs> yeah. like exactly what you've just said. You know, he he obviously took issue with Triple H and did what he did when he smashed the throne up. But then mm. he has become AEW's equivalent. Pretty much, so, yeah. I mean, this week on AEW, he was like, well, last week on AEW, should I say, he was like, oh, uh, at uh, double or nothing, you know. Justin Roberts is going to announce me as the American Dream. That was his big announcement. It's like, great. great. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, fine. <laughs> you did a big announcement for that. <laughs> Good job. Cody's got a big announcement next week. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, the American Dream, Cody Rhodes. Okay. Sure. Well done. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't get it either. But hey, look, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, Kenny Omega still continues to be one of the best characters on TV. Yeah, yeah, you know, across any wrestling brand. Uh, something cool actually that was announced. I'm not sure if it was announced today or yesterday, but he's going to be defending the um, the AAA Championship against Andrade yeah. at Triple Mania. Oh, that's cool. yeah. Is that that's August? Cool. I think August. something like that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah that's cool. definitely going to be a match to look out for. That's going to be really good. Mm. Um. Apparently, Andrade has been in talks with AEW. I fully expect him to end up there in some capacity. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. I'd, I don't know if there's been a, a, a change at all, but I, I, I saw somewhere, or I read somewhere, heard somewhere, wherever, that Andrade's first match was going to be against uh, what we know as Alberto Del Rio, but the match mm. may not happen mm. because uh, Del Rio is in court before that and may well be uh, locked up so the match may never <laughs> actually happen but he's Good. obviously confident that he'll get off uh, because that's uh, yeah, that's been announced uh, whether whether it's changed because that was a couple of weeks ago I just can't absolutely just absolutely amazed that places are still booking Alberto Del Rio yeah mm. it's the, amazed cannot yeah. believe it everything you hear about him just makes yeah. it sound like an absolute scumbag it's like everything mm. you hear about him is negative always it's bad yeah, yeah it's bad news yeah it's really really bad he's not a good person Nope. You know, and it's not nice to say that about people, but if you are genu- genuinely not a good person, um, then you deserve to have it said about you. And Alberto Del Rio, or Alberto Al Patron, or, or Alberto in jail, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> is, um, you know, not a good person. Yeah, no, Alberto yeah. in jail. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah. So Andrade versus Kenny Omega, that's going to be really good for the AAA championship. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Kenny Andrade. Omega, Sorry, mate. Sorry to interrupt. Completely irrelevant bit of news. Uh, speaking of Andrade, did we hear about um, Selena Vega potentially coming back to WWE? Yeah. yeah, it looks like it's happening. Yeah, yeah, back at the performance yeah, center yeah. and stuff. Working yeah, with uh, the Rock's daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. So it's interesting that because they, they um, I don't know if you follow uh, Steve. I don't know if you follow uh, Black Mask Clothing on um, Instagram, which is Alistair Black and uh, Selena Vega's clothing brand that they have. Yeah, I think hmm. it did. Yeah, and uh, so Rhea Ripley and the Rock's daughter, they you know, sort of done some modelling for for the clothes. So um, yeah, they were doing something together at the Performance Centre, and the talk is that they are going to bring her back, and that makes perfect cool. sense. She's not been a gobshite since she left. No. She has been very sort of uh, mute in terms of sort of WWE slander, which a lot of them aren't. <laughs> yeah. um, but I fully expect her to 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 come back, and that's great news for everybody because Selena Vega is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Okay. She carried the COVID era. Like that first part, <laughs> I said it last week, I think, but when there was no fans at the performance center and they had that small setup for, for Raw, she was just killing it. 
when yeah. she was yeah, the... Yeah, her, her and Andrade. And, and Angel Garza. Yeah. Yeah. R- Rich, does she, she, she made them feel like stars, like true heels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And she's 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 phenomenal. She really is. So uh, I'm really happy that they're going to bring her back. Yeah, same here. Be sooner rather than later as well. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Good, stuff. good, good, good. Um, so yeah, Kenny Omega's also going to be defending his Impact Championship um, against new number one contender Moose at Against Moose. All Odds um, in a few weeks' time. Um, I don't expect Moose <coughs> to win, but Moose won a. Uh, a match at No Surrender, which happened just a few days back, and yeah, earned his right to um, attempt to bring the TNA World Championship and, and Impact World Championship back to Impact Wrestling. Nice, good times. Um, Miro is the TNT champion on AEW now. Good stuff. Yeah, very yeah. cool. They are they are booking him exactly how they should have booked him in the first place. <laughs> yeah, as a monster, yeah. as a yeah. total monster. Uh, the match against Darby Allen was great, by the way. Um, if you haven't seen it, do. There's a crazy spot where Darby Allen basically bounces off Miro. <laughs> like, nice. Goes for the suicide that. dive yeah. and just bounces off him. It is un- <laughs> yeah. it's, it's awesome. Cool. Darby Allen has no regard for his body whatsoever. Not He's really. insane. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally a crazy person. He is a crazy person. And well, he certainly looks like... down the stairs, didn't he, the other way? He calls yeah, yeah, it's meant concrete oh, stairs hell. as well. It's like, yeah. Jesus. That's probably That's nuts. stuff, that is. Yeah, it is. I mean, he's a super, he's just an unbelievable daredevil. He really is. Um, it looks like it's going to be, so it does look like we're heading um, towards double or nothing and it'll, there'll be a tag match between Sting and Darby Allen against um, Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky, which I'm really excited about. Those two hmm. uh, are great together, great heels and Sting and Darby Allen, they're cool together as well. So yeah. yeah. Um, that looks like that's going to happen uh, this week on AEW. The Young Bucks are defending against the Varsity Blondes, uh, Brian Pillman and Tarzan. <laughs> Not Tarzan. I just don't know his name. I can't remember. His name. <laughs> oh, I knew it as well. I, remember. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, the Acclaimed, um, who I really like, uh, are taking on the team of John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. Um, cool. A lot of potential in the Acclaimed. Really, really good. Anthony Agogo is in action. Who? Apparently, is going blind in his left eye. That's why he can't box anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Um, he's That's taking that. on Austin Gunn, um, son of WWE Hall of Famer Billy Gunn. Nice. And Hikaru Shida is taking on Rebel, not Reba, with Dr. Britt Baker DMD. He's obviously at double or nothing. Uh, Dr. Britt Baker DMD. Um, you have to say a full name because why not? Yeah, is going to be uh, challenging for the championship, which I think she definitely will win. Mm-hmm. and Christian Cage is going to take on Matt Seidel so WWE from about 10 years ago excellent um, <laughs> <laughs> Evan Bourne versus better. Christian that yep. will be really good yeah <laughs> really really good um, so yeah a lot to a lot to look forward to uh, from AEW and NXT nothing announced for Smackdown as of yet I don't think no don't think so. not that I've seen not at time of recording anyway and it's Wednesday now so to be fair, this time last week there was only that one match advertised for SmackDown, which was Cesaro versus Seth. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. Wrestling, wrestling's picking up at the minute. It's you know it had a bit of a lull after WrestleMania. I think we had a bit of a lull after WrestleMania in terms of watching wrestling because oh. you know WrestleMania week is heavy. Yeah, so there is yeah, one match right, yeah. announced for Friday. Uh, it's a fatal four wave between uh, Biggie, Apollo Cruz, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Oh yeah, excellent. Be That'd good. be good. Yeah. Oh, actually, I did see that because Sami Zayn's face on the picture is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like looking off yeah. to the side. Yeah, it's like looking off to the side where everyone else is like looking mean and stuff. Sami Zayn's like looking in the opposite direction. It's brilliant. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I should have got that photo to put in the uh, on the stream. Never mind. Um, <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. So, yeah, wrestling's looking fairly promising for the remainder of this week and moving in towards a W double or nothing. Yeah, uh, Phil, you definitely need to watch it because we're going to be doing a pre-show before the pre-show all together. Yeah, I'll watch this week for sure, and then we'll do the pre-show and watch that on Sunday. Yes. Get... Yeah, man, it'll be really good. It's just going to be great to be um, with you guys again, watching wrestling live together. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been way too long, and yeah, it's can't just... Can't wait for that 1am the... start. Oh, yeah, I can't oh, yeah. wait. <laughs> but there'll be, a, there'll be at least there'll be a pre-show at midnight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we tend to watch it at midnight at least. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least it's bank holiday the day after. Yeah. Great for you guys. Yeah. 
But um, yeah, it's, that should be a really good show. I'm looking forward to that a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyone else got anything they want to say? Uh, that's uh, about it, really. The only, the only other bits were there's been a little bit of a shuffle with the WWE pay per views. So uh, Helen herself is going to be the next one uh, as they've moved it <laughs> to this time of year. Right, wow, okay. that's usually October, the, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's now uh, it's now the next one, twentieth uh, of June. Sure. Uh, why not? Yeah, that's right. We're in, we're in May, aren't we? Yep. So you've got NXT yep. Takeover in your house June the thirteenth, and then nice. WWE Hand the Cell June the twentieth, then Money in the Bank SummerSlam, uh, and yeah, but it is it is October, isn't it? Usually they do it, so uh, that is going to be Extreme Rules instead. Right. Hmm. Okay. So, because um, from what I read, they're looking to go back to touring July. I yes. Think I saw it was originally going to be August, but I think they've moved it up to July. Mm. Um, not sure if AEW going on tour in July has maybe sort of uh, prompted that, but prompted it, yeah, um, yeah, maybe. But so, what what pay per view we got in July? Uh, so that's Money in the Bank. Right. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. So, if Money in the Bank is going to be the first pay per view in an arena with fans <laughs> back, because Double or Nothing's going to have full capacity. Yeah. Wow. Mad. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is that in Vegas? Is it or is it at uh, Daly's place? Double or nothing. I'd imagine it's a daily's place, but I, I don't know for certain. Uh, yeah, full house. Yeah. It's going to have. Cool. Very That'd cool. be cool. That'd be really good. Yeah, I mean yeah. the noise was incredible. I mean it always it has been to be honest since they've had been having fans back, but as they've gradually been letting more and more in, the sound has just been unreal. You just forget. Yeah, yeah, Daily's place. It's a Daily's place, is it? Okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, I didn't think it'd probably go to the MGM Grand. Not yet, not yet. Uh, maybe next year, but yeah, um, fans slowly coming back to wrestling. So Money in the Bank, I would imagine they'll run at full capacity. Uh, what date's that? Uh, which one? Sorry. Money in the bank. Uh, that's July, uh, like twentieth or something, right? Or around there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So first pay per view back with fans, and then they'll. I think they're going to start touring again after that. Mm. Um, so yeah, normality was very slowly coming back. Good. Which is yes. Great. Good, Means good, we, good. we can start doing normal shit again together. It's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, Finn, anything? Uh, I think that's it. Really, isn't it? I think yeah. so. I think we've covered covered all bases. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You're about in the dark as well, Finn. There, I am. I really start turning the light on before it starts. You know, that's what I've that's what I've had to start doing because uh, <laughs> sometimes like, I have to text Kay in the middle of the like podcast saying, "Can you come to the light, please?" Because otherwise, I'm going to be yeah. sat in darkness. Yeah. I had it the other week. I didn't. Did you see it? Sorry, when I was on added time the other week, I did. Yeah, <laughs> and, it over, and it overran, and I was literally in the dark, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it now even even though it's quite light when we start the podcast i always have to have the you know because now i would very much be in the dark so. yeah yeah absolutely yeah definitely i would definitely be in the dark um right <laughs> um guys thank you for your continued support of this podcast it's great there's so many of you enjoying the uh video version of the podcast as well as the audio version of the podcast uh, we're still having an absolute blast doing it and you know we can't wait to just keep going keep putting the episodes out keep doing the pre-shows um yeah it's just it's great um i forgot to mention the tiktok comments i'll save it for another time people didn't yeah. understand our uh, oh, sarcastic yeah. <laughs> humor um on tiktok which by the way we're now obviously tiktok famous we blew up over two thousand yeah. views in like two days wow go on Look at us. We should all be wearing sunglasses and shit. I'm Here fighting Floyd Mayweather. Let's go. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this has been episode 143 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games wraps. Go check us out on social media at games and graps on everything and TikTok at Games and Grabs. That's the and, not an N. Not right. Games and Grabs, Games and Grabs. But you tried to make those the same, but never mind. I did try, <laughs> but it didn't work. I didn't, I'll get better. <laughs> Someone take our name? Well, maybe. Someone or maybe I created it twice by accident, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe. Someone's, there's another Games and Grabs out there. Pretending to be us. Yeah, they're not, they're not as good. Please. No. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Games and Grabs everywhere. Games and Grabs on TikTok. But yeah. uh, we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. 
lead again to Double or Nothing, where we're all going to be in the same room together at the same time for the first time yeah, in yeah. forever. But uh, yeah, my name's Sonny G, and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. I'm Steve. See you later. And we will see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Uh, amazing. <laughs>